The West is no stranger to having its landscape drilled, draglined, and mined for fossil fuels. But according to many experts, the best, or the worst, depending on your point of view, is yet to come. High energy prices have made advanced drilling technologies profitable, pushing drill bits into parts of the West once believed tapped out, and into new places once thought inaccessible. Three communities in North Dakota and Wyoming find themselves at different stages of an energy boom. The frenzy of drilling. When there's more jobs than people, that's the <laughs> yeah, place to be. Exactly. <laughs> to expect a county of 20,000 people to overnight absorb another 20,000 people is ludicrous. The aftermath of a decade of production where we're standing right now has the highest concentrations of hazardous air pollutants in the Upper Green River Valley. It seems like there wasn't an aspect of our life that wasn't changed. Church life changed, schools changed radically, our traffic changed, how we were raising our children quickly had to change. And anticipating the rush of future energy riches. Everybody's just been obsessed with this oil play, the Nibrera shale play, stuff up. Okay, we'll put up an oil derrick in our cornfield. What happens to the people and the landscape as one of these booms rips through an area? And what's the cost of industrialization to their way of life?